what is the future of DeFi? Because I thought you were gonna cut me off when I introduced you in the beginning by saying I was impressed with all the innovation. And you know, you know I saw the yield swapping and I saw um, the coin swapping and I saw the liquidity pools. I was like, wow. You know, no one would have ever thought of this on Wall Street where actually I get shares in the company I transact with that provides liquidity. But you think we have so many orders of magnitude further to go in DeFi. You don't even think we're innovating. We're just plugging, what, new tech into old ideas. No, no, no. There is, there is innovation in DeFi. And then there's a lot of very exciting uh, new uh, services coming up, DeFi services coming up. And um, uh, so, but what we have done so far is just barely scratching the surface. So um, we, we, people have now seen DEXs and they have a notion of how DEXs could work. And um, uh, so what they really mostly seen are, are automated market makers. So DEXs like Uniswap, like Pangolin, like Trader Joe, and uh, those are fantastic. And um, that's a very good start, but there's an entire universe of even faster DEXs for uh, things you want to trade uh, in real time. So, um, and with far less slippage. So um, uh, we're going to see a lot more innovation uh, on the DEX front. We're going to see what we call central limit order books, you know, things like that look like the NYSC, things that look like the NASDAQ um, actually enter the blockchain space. That's going to be fantastic. Uh, we're going to see far less slippage when it comes to uh, uh, trades that people do on DEXs. So currently, if you interact with AMMs, uh, there's a lot of slippage that you can experience depending on the liquidity on the AMM. We're going to, there's going to be a huge battle, and I think Avalanche is poised to, uh, well poised to, to win this. There's going to be a huge battle to uh, make sure that people don't jump ahead of users. So this is sometimes known as minor extractable value. In Ethereum, the miners are in prime position to look at what you want to do and then squeeze you in uh, between their transactions and extract value from you. Suppose you want to buy something and they know how much it sells for. Well, they could buy it ahead of you and sell to you at a higher price. And people do this all the time. And there are lots of different variants of this, this attack. And uh, it just works counter to, uh, to, to retail. And um, it's no different than what happens on Wall Street. Those HFT guys are jumping ahead of you, and this is a different form of it. And I am not here to take down Wall Street and replace it with something that's that's equivalent or worse. I guess we don't want to just change the actors, we want to change the game. So, and we have the potential to build systems that are bulletproof against these kinds of activities. When I say bulletproof, well, at least much, much, much better against these kinds of activities. Making it entirely go away might actually be a hard scientific problem, but uh, certainly reducing its, um, its amount and protecting retail is the goal. So I can go on like this. There are many other DeFi um, projects that are coming on board. So yield farming is an exciting area. There's a lot to do. Um, uh, portfolio management is a very exciting area. Um, and it, it takes, uh, it rears its head and all sorts of things. So when you, uh, when you do staking into pools and into yield, uh, what you're really doing is you're managing a portfolio behind the scenes or, or the DeFi protocol is managing a portfolio. So there's a lot of innovation to be done there. There's a lot of science that's sitting by the sidelines that has not been applied uh, into the blockchain world. So, um, uh, so that's going to open up an entirely new universe. At the heart of it all, what this innovation will do is it will make accessible a set of financial tools that have only been accessible to the very, very rich. Could you not have your, you know, have the latest of science behind your portfolio management today? Yes, if you go to Goldman and you're a high net worth individual, you, that could happen for you. Well, DeFi is gonna bring it to the masses. You could tap into it with $200. And uh, that opens up an incredible new world. And I think it's just fantastic. Um, and I, well, I'll end on this last note. So you might remember when you entered uh, finance um, to actually have a seat at the table, you needed to have a terminal, right? And if you needed to have, if you wanted to be a, a market participant, then you had to pay $150,000 a year to, uh, to have a connection to NYSE. And now anyone can trade. There is no, it would be ludicrous to try to charge people for it. You can connect to the Avalanche network or the Ethereum network without, you know, for no money at all. And that's a fantastic development. And it's, it's wonderful to see energetic people, young people from all over the world, just go head to head against the, the Wall Street titans uh, on the same unifying platform on equal terms. And that's what gets me really excited.